Hi guys, on this episode I thought I'd share with you my survival fishing kit. Spring's right around the corner, I'm getting some of my gear ready and I thought I'd bring you along. So stay tuned. So what we have here is a chalk box or a chalk line. I bought a new one because it didn't have chalk in it. I didn't want one that had chalk in it. But we're going to dismantle it and take out the string and put in the uh, fishing line. We're going to use 8 pound test fishing line. Put it in and put it back together. So first things first. Let's take it apart. If you guys wouldn't care to give me some feedback or some comments on my setup here, I'm trying to always trying to improve my videos. The quality of my videos. What I, I use here is a, a plastic sewing mat. I like it because it's got the one inch, the one inch grids on here, so you can gives you a point of reference on how big something is. But if this isn't aesthetically pleasing, it's if you can't, if you don't like this on the videos, let me know, and I'll try to get maybe a, a solid white uh, work area or something like that. Ah. All right, here we go. So there's no gears in it. It's basically what you see is what you get. And here is the here's the piece that holds the string in place right there. So we want to keep that. And here's the reel itself. So we'll take that apart. It just slides right out. There's not much to it. All right, there's a lot of line on there. So we'll take it off and then we'll put our fishing line on. So I've got to the end of my rope, so to speak. And it's actually got, I don't know if you can see this or not, it's got a neat little place in there, uh, a little hole in there, a little catch. You just put a knot in it, it keeps it from sliding out. There was a lot of string on here. It'd be really good for kite flying. So we'll cut that off. And then we'll go back and attach our fishing line. Okay. So we've got our line, fishing line. And we'll make sure you thread that little piece. You can see it's a little... This is what keeps the line in place. Keep that. Put that on first. Put that on first. You can see it. And then tie it to your little keeper here. Alright, <clears throat> we're just going to put it together and wind it up that way. Put our little door in the pla in place. I haven't figured out what we're going to do that use that for yet, but we're going to use it for something. Good and tight. Let's test it out. Oh yeah. There it goes. You probably can't see that fishing line, but smooth. Finding up pretty good. 
And you can see it's got a good, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's good and tight. Well, I figured out one use for the door. You can open it up and look down in there and see your see your line, see if it's got a bird's nest or if it's lining up straight. I know you can't see in there, but it is wound tight and there's no uh, line gathered up and there's no bird nest in there. It looks really good. So let's put a hook on here. Wrap around one, two, three, four, five, and six. Feed it back through. Let me see what I'm doing. There we go. And there's our hook. Alright, so we got our hook on. Now let's wind it up. And, oops, wrong way. Thank you, there. Now we got a place to secure it. That works out great. Lock it in. How about that? That looks really good. Got a place to keep your hook to keep it from catching on your gear. Makes it real nice and packable. Got a little lock on there. I think this is going to work out good. So it turned out really good. I'm really pleased with it. It wound up really nice and tight. So uh, share this video. Uh, use the idea. Take it out and make one. Take it out and see what you think. I'd love to get some feedback on it. I think it's a pretty neat idea. I've not seen any of these on YouTube or anywhere else. Anybody using a chalk box for a fishing kit, but it may have already been done. Who knows? But uh, it's a lot of fun putting it together, and I can't wait to use it. Next time I'm out in the field, I can't wait to get out there and see what this thing will do. Uh, I might take it out with me and my buddy Bob. I've got a buddy, uh, Bob, that we do some survival stuff together. And There's a shout-out to you, Bob. We'll take this out and try it out sometime, buddy. I've also put together a little fishing kit, just a minimalistic fishing kit. It's just got a few things in here. Got a, a bobber, a couple small hooks, I think they're number 10 hooks, a swivel, some grubs. And of course, we'll use artificial, or excuse me, use a live bait, dig up some worms. But for what I'm using for, that's about all you need. Put these two things together. You got your little survival fishing kit. Maybe put a ranger band around it or whatever. Just something to hold it together. I might even uh, do some tactical tailoring and sew up a little fishing pouch for it. Well, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Come back again.